Hello and welcome to this tutorial regarding GridCoin and the Berkeley Open Infrastructure Network Computing Project Manager. In this tutorial we will look at setting up the Berkeley Project, installing the Berkeley Project Manager, installing GridCoin, how to get some starting coins, and finally receive our first proof of research. Things we will not be covering in this tutorial are the Advanced Project Management, tools where you can manage all your projects together, shortcuts or debugging tools on um, the console and command line, and general wallet security. We can cover all of this stuff in a later tutorial. This demonstration we will be using an AMD Phenon uh, 2 4 core, an MSI 7950 graphics card, and a Corsair RM650 Gold PSU. And the power consumption for this computer will be about 240 watts running at full load. Okay, the first thing we are going to do is open up our web browser and go to boinck.berkeley.edu or as you can see I just put in boinc in Google and it comes right up. After receiving that home page we are going to choose projects and we're presented with a long list of many different projects. You should check the whitelist on GridCoin to pick an appropriate project and also pick a project that is relative to the hardware or graphics cards you're going to use. In this demonstration I'm sort of randomly picking a project from the list that I already know is whitelisted and uh, you can also do quite a bit of research on figuring out which project is going to yield you the best magnitude which is also means the most coins. After clicking on the project we're taken to the project's home page and from here I'm going to create an account. I'm going to select your account from the left navigation bar and then select on the bottom left create an account Then I'm going to fill out the form with my uh, username, my email address, and a password and then a caption. After that is submitted I am presented with my account page on the uh, POEM project and this next step is very important. You want to join the GridCoin team. So over on the right, I am selecting Find a Team. Then I'm going to type in GridCoin as my keyword for search. And I'm presented with one result, which is the GridCoin. I'm going to select that. And then find the link down here within the body of the page. It says Join this team. After selecting that, then on the right, I should see that I am on the GridCoin team. All right, next we are going to return to our Berkeley Project homepage. And then we are going to choose download the software. Here I'm choosing the one without the virtual box. And it is currently downloaded down in the left corner. Now that it's downloaded, I'm executing the installer. And I'm going to go and select all the default options here. and I'm going to finish with the launch. And this view is the simple view that will open first, um, but we're going to wait here in a moment while it asks us which project do we want to pick. And we already set up our poem project, so I'm selecting that. We're waiting for it to connect. And then I'm going to select, yes, I'm an existing user. And enter my password along with my email address. And then we will wait for it to pull in my account information. And it has, says it has been added and finished, and I can see it down there on the bottom left. I am more accustomed to the advanced view, so I'm going to switch to that. Now I'm going to look at the activity menu. I'm going to tell it to run always, and also use the GPU always, since that's what this particular machine is going to do. And I'm going to look at the computing preferences. And since this is a four core and I need one core for the GPU, I'm going to select 75% of the CPUs so that I have three out of the four and I have one available for the GPU. And just looking through the other options here, I'm going to increase the amount of days by just a couple and a little bit more on the additional days. And you can tailor these settings obviously to your particular hardware or desires. We can also see that our team, very important, is listed as GridCoin. 
And now we're going to see what kind of tasks it's running. And we can see that it's running one AMD task for the GPU and running three poem tasks for the CPU. Okay, now we are going to install GridCoin. First, I'm going to go back to my browser and go to gridcoin.us. There's a lot of great information on this website and how-to articles. Um, we're going to scroll down to where we see the steps. We've already completed step one, so we're going to go to step two and find our download link here and click that. And Gridcoin is downloading. Again, there's a lot of pictures and screenshots and how-to articles within this website. So it's a really great resource to get more information. Right, now that it is downloaded, I'm going to execute the installer. And we're going to go through and follow the default options once again. And now that it is installed, we're going to go to the Start menu, find our Grid Research Coin folder. And I'm going to right click on it and pin it to the taskbar. And then I get a icon on the taskbar for Gridcoin. I'm going to open that. And we will um, see it open you know, in a brand new state. And it's going to ask us for our email address so it can link to our Berkeley projects. So we're going to enter in the email address associated with that. OK. And it's going to tell us that it created a new configuration file successfully. Now it's going to take a long time to synchronize the blocks from scratch. So I'm going to go up to rebuild blocks and download the block file. And here, Gridcoin window closed and it opened up a new downloader maintenance window. And we will run this download. It will take several minutes. A Gridcoin block chain has now downloaded and Gridcoin is restarting. You'll see here the splash screen is open while we wait for it to continue. One often mistake is that you may be tempted to click on the screen and you'll get a message indicating that Gridcoin Research is not responding. Still at this point you want to wait for the program to respond and please be patient. Gridcoin has now opened and we can see in the bottom area the block numbers that it is on. It also shows that it is not in sync yet by the red out of sync text and it will continue to download the blocks until it is synchronized. Once it is synchronized you will get a green check mark in this green divider area. While Gridcoin is synchronizing, you can use this opportunity to get some starter coins. Let's return back to gridcoin.us and continue to step three. Here's some good instructions on why and how to get some starter coins. We're going to scroll down a little bit to the faucet area. Here you will find several different faucets and ways to get starter coins. I'm just going to go through the first two which is gridcoin.us and gridcoin.asia. Gridcoin.us is the highest paying faucet of the few here, but this one, however, has to be executed at a specific time period. You need to not have collected any proof of research rewards, have a recent average credit of a greater than 100 with a CPID, and of course you must be on Team Gridcoin, which we've already set up, and you can only do this once from the same IP. So we'll need to return to that later when it is time. So we're going to continue on to gridcoin.asia, and here all we need to do is have a GRC address. And in order to get that, we can return back to our gridcoin client, go to receive coins, select our address, and copy. And then we can return back to our browser and paste that into the gridcoin address box along with our captcha. And we're going to select get free gridcoins. And we'll see here that it paid us out some gridcoins as we scroll down. And we'll see that show up in our wallet eventually after it has synchronized. The next great way to get some Gridcoin is to use the IRC chat channel. In order to do that, let's select the IRC link. And you'll have to enter in a nickname. And click Start. You can also receive a lot of helpful information from the friendly community here within the Gridcoin chat. There is also many of the members give out coins quite frequently and there's also a bot here 
that generates randomly one coin to 10 people. Once you have joined, there is a command you can type in, slash msg space grc tip space help, and that will open up a grc tip tab above, which you can then click on and look at. From here, you can see the different commands you can give the grc tip bot, and I'm going to do a exclamation point balance here to see if I have a balance. And of course, it's going to come back with an error, sort of, that says that I need to be identified um, and a registered user. So we'll have to register our nickname. In order to do that, we need to do slash msg space nickserve space register. And we'll see that it needs some parameters. So we're going to retype this in with the full parameters with my uh, password and email address that I want to use. And we will get some more instructions at that email address to follow to complete the registration. But at this point, now you can interact with the tip bot by getting, receiving, and sending GRC. About two hours have passed now, and I'm checking back on my GRC client, and I can finally see that it is showing synchronized. I got the green check mark, and the red text is missing. Um, it also shows below that my CPID is investor, and I've also collected that 1.9 GRC from the Gridcoin Asia. We're going to check back on this a little bit later. It's been about two days now. I'm going to check in on the GRC client. And we can see that we are uh, have a magnitude of zero. We've also sent a beacon, which is the red item. And we're going to check and see what our tasks are doing. And we can see that our tasks are building a recent average. Credit is going up. And this is a perfect opportunity to take advantage of the gridcoin.us faucet. So I'm going to grab my GRC address, go over to the faucet page, and type in my, paste in my address. And then the tricky part here is we need to be able to get our CPID, which is right there. Um, in order to make that easier, I'm going to bring up a console which I can copy and paste my CPID from. I'm going to type in a command here, list CPIDS, and I'm going to highlight my CPID, copy it. I'm going to paste it into the box and click send me my startup grid coins. It's going to come back here with 500 rewarded, and I can see that it's already shown up in my coins received based on the pop-up. A few more hours have passed and I'm checking on the GRC client again and I see there's been a super block. So good news, we now show a magnitude of 40. So proof of research should be just right around the corner. And I've also added a couple extra coins from one of the other faucets. Let's see what this looks like in a few more hours. It's been more than a few hours, but let's see what we have. It appears that we've had another super block because our magnitude has gone up from 40 to 55. I have a green up arrow, which indicates that my client is attempting to stake coins when they're mature enough. And let's check on um, our tasks. You can see our tasks are still running. Everything looks good there. And our average credit is still growing. So proof of research should be just right around the corner. Let's take this opportunity again to look at the IRC chat to see if there are any balance. I'm putting an exclamation point balance into the IRC and, ah, look, somebody's been very generous and have uh, donated over 300 coins. Let's grab those. I need my GRC address. I'm going to go back to the IRC chat, type an exclamation point withdraw, paste in my address, push enter. And then it shows me that those 308 coins have been withdrawn, and they should appear in my GRC client. And they do. So this is going to bring our total up to 812 coins in our wallet, and we'll check back soon to see if we get a research reward. Just after another few hours, let's see what we've got. And we do show that we have a 30 coin proof of research reward came in, and this makes our total time from startup to our first reward of almost three days. So this is where GRC requires a lot of patience in the beginning, and you can start building up and growing from there.
This is going to be the last time we're going to check in on this particular demo. And we can see that it's been another day. And there's been two more proof of research rewards come in. One at 15 and one at 25. We've also had at least one more super block. And our magnitude has now grown to 80. So this is all great. And thank you for watching.